Hi friends, welcome back. In previous sessions, we had seen how to read the data and how to insert the data by using ASP.NET Core Razor Pages. In, today, in today's session, we are going to see how to update the data in Razor Pages. So for that, we are going to create one edit page. Before that, I'll change this header style. I'll go to this class. make it as table doc okay I'll go to the solution explorer go to the products right click add new razor page selecting empty and I'll make it as edit so I'm going to open edit dot CS HTML and we are going to implement our business logic first here we have to call our DB context so I will name it as context so I will put it inside my constructor Here I am going to create bind property for the product. It's going to be product. To communicate with our view, we need to make it as bind property so that so whatever the data we are going to submit from edit CS HTML so we can extract from this property so this get method I will make it as asynchronous method I will make it as task get async here based on the product ID we will get the data so I will pause the ID here as the input parameter if ID is null or context dot products are null then we are going to return as not found so or you can send any meaningful message to the user for understanding else we have to get the products here so we will get only single product here because we are passing the ID which is unique so we will get single product so here I can get context dot products dot poster default async so here I need to pass product ID p dot ID equals to ID if product is null again we need to check whether this contains the data or not because even though we are pausing the ID that ID is available inside the table or not we need to check if product is null again I will return the not found so if you want you can send any meaningful message to the user else we have to assign this data to the bind property which is products so this is the products bind property this is going to be used to bind and post the data products equal to this product finally return the page so here uh, we will make it as I action result okay this is null message 
so anyway we are validating here if it is not null then only we are assigning to this page so we need to create another method uh, to post the data for that i'll come here public again i'm going to create a synchronous method here here we have to use the await since it's asynchronous task action result so here i'm going to create on post async so whenever user is posting the data we need to update to our database if model state is not valid then we need to return the page else we have to update the database so we have to pause the products here so again we need to change the changes here we have to make it as a synchronous method and we have to use the await here once it is updated we need to return the page to index build the application so we don't have any error we will go to the design page here we can design here we will add the title We'll make it as edit so here we are going to use the same title inside my edit page so I will copy the design from create page we are going to use similar to the edit so we will copy the design from create.cshtml so i'm going to copy entire things here so i'll paste it here here we need id also because uh, based on the id only we are going to update the data here i'll add one input type is hidden because we are going to hide the id here if you want you can display and you can make it as read only asp4 let's say products dot Products.id. So we are hiding this product ID. So this is the edit page, and here we can make it as should edit. And whenever user clicks on this product list, it should go to the index page. I'll change this. We will run the application. I'll run the application in debug mode. Before that, uh, we can keep debug point here and here. Run in the debug mode.
and open the products. Here I am going to update this last product which is Dell and click on edit so it is not redirecting. So we will go to the index page and we will check it. So this is the problem here uh, we have done wrongly routing is not correct. I removed extra which is having ASP. I removed the extra content now it should work. I will reload it. Now I will try to click on edit here. So it is coming to on get async method. We will go to the next step. Here we can see id is null. So that means here id is not passing correctly. We will go to the index. We can check it here. Here we have provided route id is item id but here we are expecting id. Either we have to change this item id as id or we can pass this as item id. Any one thing we need to do it. I will stop the application now. So here item id I am giving. So now I now it should work. So I paused as item id now. Again I will run the application in debug mode. Click on products. Edit. So now we are getting item id correctly. I will go to the next step. Since item id is not null, you can see the products here. can go to the next step. So here uh, there is a error called invalid operation exception. There is already an open data reader associated with this connection which must be closed first. To avoid this uh, we can do one thing. So this is very important one. Go to the app settings.json here we can change our connection string settings here make it as multiple active result sets is true so this is the setting which we need to enable run the application again in the debug mode click on products. I am editing this record again. Here I have the data. Here now I am able to read the product details. This is the product. I am returning to next page. So it is coming to the edit page. Here we need to change the title of the button. You can go to edit. I am changing this. Here both are success instead of that. I can make it as primary in this case or something else. Okay. We'll continue here. So 
I will remove the debug point now. I will run the application. Click on edit. So, here something wrong again. Edit. Maybe that's primary. Okay. So now instead of a Lenovo price, I will change it to the Acer seventy eight thousand and thirty. Instead of edit, it should be update. I will correct it again. Update. We are updating the data here. So now I will click on now I will update the data as sir. Click on update. So it is not updating again we will go to the edit. So here we will this is the get method here we will use the post and also we need to check edit form so this is going to be post so something wrong here we will try to check in the debug mode Click on products, edit. So, when we click, it is not uh, redirecting. When we click update, it should post the data. So this is the issue where async should be this one. I'll close this. I'll run the application in debug mode. Edit the product. Click on update, it is hitting the post async method. So, model state is valid. It is updated to the details, whatever we provided. So, here also we can use try cache block if there is any unhandled exception. So, we can catch it here. So like this we can update the data in ASP.NET Core Razor pages. That is it for today. In the next session we are going to work on details page and the delete pages.